Hey everybody, welcome to day 21 of the lockdown. Uh, in honour of it being three weeks since we started doing this video diary, I thought I'd break out a little bit of bling for you. Uh, just to celebrate three weeks have gone by. Uh, today's video is a throwing video again. Um, I made some white moon jars and uh, I'll show you those. Those are on the little wheel because it's clean. And then I'm going to do uh, a couple of casseroles with different types of lids. Uh, they're for the house. They're not for they're not for for selling. Um, I explain it to you when I'm doing the uh, doing the video. So that's it. Um, enjoy the videos. Keep watching. Keep safe. See you in a bit. These are uh, 700 gram balls. Finally moved over to the metric system, it only took 30 years. To get it settled in my head. Maybe quite a deep foot ring on this. My second wheel, I'm lucky to have two wheels. Um, I keep this one clean, sort of iron free if I can help it. That way uh, I don't have to wash it down every time I want to do some white. Use some white clay. These are white moon jars. Ebony. Enjoying doing this today, it's quite a nice sunny day. Just taking my time, no rush. Form racks, they're just going to be pure white. These, so it's important to get the form just right. No, ha no hiding place on a single colour pot. Uh, this is. Uh one and a half kilos of uh, clay. I've just mixed this, I've just wedged it up, um, especially for this job because it, need, because it needs to handle thermal shock in and out of the kiln, uh, sorry, in and out of the oven. Of the kiln. Um, I've mixed it 50 50 crank and normal stoneware. Just going to have a flat bottom. Throwing it on a uh, 
thrown it on a bat because I won't be able to lift this off, it's a bit too wide. This is going to be a simple cylinder. Try and keep it quite thick. This, um, the place I bought it from in Cyprus, this is a fantastic place. They make fire bricks and they build pizza ovens, they make the bricks for the pizza ovens. Uh, it was a fantastic place. Run by, I think it's the fourth generation. All well, four generations are, uh, are working there. Great grandma, right down to the youngest, sort of seven year old, was helping carry stuff through the weekends. So, uh, fabulous place, I loved every minute I was there. When they found out that I was a potter, they gave us the full tour of the factory. It was fantastic. Very friendly people. Just, uh, just going to belly this out, just gently. I'll put a mark in there so I know where to put the handles. It's going to have a, a lid that has a gallery that sits inside it, so it just needs to be rounded on this one. That's it done. A couple of lines for decoration. This is a little bit, a uh, little bit heavier than one and a half kilos. It's 1.8, I think, something like that. Because this one's going to have a, a throne gallery where the lid sits inside it. So I'm going to do two different lids, and two different, um, two different fastenings and attachments. Sure, I can press this base. I leave a bit of uh, more clay in this bit here. difficult not to th keep trying to throw thin, you know, it's uh, <laughs> sort of counterintuitive. But it's good to have a thick crock type uh, body for it holds the heat better. It stands the thermal shock better. Right, I've left the um, I've left the rim. Uh, this bit of the top here very thick, a bit thicker. I'm just going to make a gallery. Put this sit in. Better the side out a little tiny bit. 
can tell I've not thrown on these for a long time. Yeah. Best not to have too many sharp edges, you know, like here. Because it's because it's um, because it's going to be washed a lot and used a lot. Um, if you have thin, if you have thin rims, they tend to break. I'm just going to round that a little bit. So I'm not putting a sharp corner in this, I'm, I'm, I'm rounding it off so that it'll sit, it, it, it'll uh, sit nicely in the edge, in the rim. How's that done? for decoration and also to help me line up where I put the lugs on to pick it out. Alright this weighs a kilo. I've no, I'm not sure exactly um, how much I'm going to need for this because uh, I just took the uh, measurement for the internal diameter of the casserole. I'm throwing this upside down obviously. Just get a rough idea where it's going to be. Once again, I'm making this casserole ring, this edge here, quite chunky because I uh, don't want it to chip off when it goes in the dishwasher or it gets washed or manhandled or shoved in a cupboard. Putting a slight curve inside here so it sits on nicely on the rim. And I'm just going to put a little bit of a spiral in there just because I can. This one's going to be uh, going to sit inside a gallery, so it's just going to be just a normal, simple um, bowl shape.
I'm going to just cut it. And to round off this so it sits in the in the curve of the gallery. Throw the knob on this when it uh, when I turn it tomorrow. Right, okay. I hope uh, that was okay for you. Um, just the question of the day for today is: What music do you listen to when you're making or throwing or working? Uh, I have uh, the Huey Morgan podcast on. He does a Saturday morning show on. Radio 6 and also Planet Rock so there you go you, can't, you don't hear it when I'm filming because of the copyright problems but uh, it's usually blasting out so there you go see you tomorrow <laughs>